Till the World Ends is a song recorded by American singer Britney Spears for her seventh studio album, Femme Fatale 2011. It was written by Kesha Siebert, Lukash, Dr. Luke, Gottwald, Alexander Cronland, and Max Martin. Gottwald, Martin and Billboard produced the song, while vocal production was handled by Emily Wright. Till the World Ends is an up-tempo dance pop and electropop song with an electro beat. It opens with sirens, and has elements of trance and eurodance. The song features a chant-like chorus, and lyrics in which Spears sings about dancing until the end of the world. Till the world ends. Received universal acclaim from critics, who deemed it a catchy dance track and complimented its anthemic nature. Till the world ends was treated with different remixes, most notably the Femme Fatale remix, featuring rapper Nicki Minaj and Kesha, which was released on April 25, 2011. The remix adds a rap by Minaj at the beginning, new vocals by Kesha, and a dubstep breakdown. The Femme Fatale remix received positive reviews from critics, with most complimenting the diversity of the group and Minaj's rap. Till the World Ends attained international success, charted on the top 10 in several major music markets, including Australia, France, Ireland, New Zealand, Sweden and Switzerland. The Femme Fatale remix propelled the single to the top 5 on the Canadian Hot 100 and the US Billboard Hot 100. An accompanying music video for the Till the World Ends was released on April 6, 2011. It portrays Spears in an underground dance party set on a December 21, 2012. Critics noted the similarities with the music video for I'm a Slave for You 2001, and predominantly gave positive reviews for it. A choreography cut was released on April 15, 2011. The video was also nominated for two categories at the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, and went on to win Best Pop Video. Spears has performed, Till the World Ends, on television shows Good Morning America and Jimmy Kimmel Live, and performed it with Minaj at the 2011 Billboard Music Awards. She has also performed the song as the encore of the Femme Fatale Tour 2011 and Britney, Peace of Me 2013-2017. Background Till the World Ends was written and produced by Dr. Luke and Max Martin, with additional writing by American recording artist Kesha and Alexander Cronland, and additional production by Billboard. In an interview for Spin on February 11, 2011, Kesha announced she had co-written the song with Luke and Martin for Femme Fatale. She explained it was inspired by me imagining Spears and any female musician touring the world. When you go out, and you're having an amazing, magical night and you don't want to go to sleep and you want it to last until the world ends." On March 2, 2011, the single's cover art, in which Spears appears sitting on a couch in a sweater and heels, was posted at Deezer.com. This was followed by a 30-second snippet of the song, which appeared at Amazon.de. Till the World Ends, leaked online on March 3, 2011, which prompted Spears to post hours later on her Twitter account, Looks like the cat's out of the bag. She formally premiered the single at On Air with Ryan Seacrest, on March 4, 2011, at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 1500 Coordinated Universal Time. Till the World Ends was made available on iTunes the same day, several days earlier than originally planned. 
Following the announcement, Kesha spoke to MTV News stating that, I consider myself a songwriter before and above everything else, so it's an honor to write for one of pop music's biggest icons. During an interview with Seacrest, Spears described, Till the world ends, as fun. I like it. It's good energy. I'm a vibe person, and I think I love good mood songs, and if it puts me in a good mood, it clicks for me. Topic. Composition Till the World Ends is an up-tempo dance pop and electropop song, with an electro beat and elements of trance and eurodance. The song opens with sirens and a sizzling bass line. Spears delivers confident and breathy vocals, in lyrics such as, If you want this good shit, sicker than the remix, baby let me blow your mind tonight. In the chorus, the song slows down while Spears sings, I can't take it take it take no more, never felt like felt like this before, come on get me get me on the floor, DJ what you what you waiting for. The melody's 4-3 cross rhythm continues into a chant-like segment, in which, whoa oh oh oh, oh is repeated. The bit was compared by Scott Shetler of AOL to the rapid word repetition of Kesha. Keith Caulfield of Billboard said the chorus comes on hard like it's the sexy spawn of American recording artist Usher's OMG 2010 and Italian band Baltimore's Tarzan Boy. 1985, Garrick Kennedy of the Los Angeles Times stated that like her previous single, Hold It Against Me, Spears's main intention with her new single seems to be keeping the dance floor pulsating with sweaty bodies. Jason Lipschutz of Billboard said the song recalls past hits by English recording artist Tayo Cruz, Swedish recording artist Robin and Spanish recording artist Enrique Iglesias. Alison Stewart of The Washington Post felt the song was comparable to Iglesias. Tonight, I'm loving you. 2010. Sal Sinkmani of Slant Magazine and a reviewer from Pop Justice compared it to Kesha's Blow 2011. According to the sheet music published at musicnotes.com by Cobalt Music Publishing Inc., Till the World Ends is set in the compound meter time signature, with a moderate dance beat infused metronome of 132 beats per minute. It is composed in the key of C minor. Spears' vocals range from the low key of B flat 3 to the high note of C5. Lyrically, the song talks about dancing until the end of the world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Critical reception. The song received critical acclaim from critics. Ryan Brockington of the New York Post called it amazing. John Dolan of Rolling Stone gave the song three and a half out of five stars, stating, You want a party song, call a partier, and describing it as sky-sucking synth streaks, a beat that sounds like blimps fucking and a thousand shirtless drunken sailors chanting along on the chorus. Garrick Kennedy of the Los Angeles Times called the song, Catchy. It makes you want to grab some glow sticks and hit the clubs. And added that the femme fatale era, already shows an undeniably more confident Spears. Mike Collette White of Reuters deemed it as a dance anthem. Robert Copsey of Digital Spy said that the song is unquestionably a Dr. Luke production, but somehow it's Brit that manages to come out on top. 
Copsey went on to call it her most uplifting number since Stronger 2000, and added that for long-time Britney fans, is the comeback we've all been waiting for. Bill Lamb of About.com commented that the song would sound solid on the radio and bring crowds to the dance floor. But when compared to Hold It Against Me, it was much safer and not as innovative. Jed Gottlieb of the Boston Herald gave the song a B+, saying that Pop fans always need a huge hook, catchy chorus and break it down build it up bridge. This song's got all three. Quote dot. Edna Gunderson of USA Today called it a sleek and impossibly catchy slab, and said that although the song is unmistakable Luke, Spears holds her own with confident, kittenish vocals. Alison Stewart of the Washington Post stated that the track is Spears's most joyously danceable track in a long time. Karen Gans of Spin named it her first truly synapse-sizzling single since Toxic. Andy Gill of The Independent selected the song along with Criminal as the download picks of the album. Kevin Ritchie of Now stated that Wannabe World Cup Anthem Till the World Ends kicks things off with an aura of pounding, Euro dance euphoria. David Buchanan of Consequence of Sound commented that Till the World Ends quote, comma, quote, Hold It Against Me and Inside Out quote, quote, Simultaneously send Spears back to basics vocally, and into 2011 sonically. Rudy Clapper of Sputnik Music said that the song throbs with trance Y synths, a thumping electro beat that is pure sex and a chorus that goes and goes as only the best club hits can do, sensible lyrics be damned. Evan Sordi of Pop Matters said that Till the World Ends sets the pace of femme fatale, while calling it a stadium-rocking pop anthem. Keith Caulfield from Billboard said that the song has a roof-shaking chant chorus, but criticized the lyrics, saying that they have been echoed incessantly over the past year in countless Hot 100 Top 10 hits, Dance Until You Drop from Exhaustion. Sal Sinkmani of Slant Magazine compared it to Kesha's Blow, saying that the tracks are so similar that I can't decide which one I like more, or if I even like them at all. A reviewer from Pop Justice also compared it to Blow, but said Till the World Ends was not as good. Topic recognition Rolling Stone named Till the World Ends as the third best song of 2011. The writer concluded, Brit Nay delivers the apocalypse now of Eurotrash electrotrance disco songs, as that throbbing pulse builds to a pure drop the bomb chorus. And that Wo Ho Ho choir sounds like Cher leading an aircraft carrier full of gay sailors. The song was also named as the third best single of 2011 by Billboard, and commented that it is Britney's most immediate single since Toxic. Sam Lansky of Pop Crush considered Till the World Ends the best pop song of 2011, writing, 2011 was already Year of the Spears by January, when Britney Spears Hold It Against Me topped the charts, but Britney had something even better up her sleeve, the crackling dance floor bar Stormer Till the World Ends, penned by Rowdy Popstrel Kesha and produced by monster hitmaker Dr. Luke. 
It's a gargantuan party song with provocative lyrics This kitten got your tongue tied in knots, anyone, throbbing synths, and a thrillingly euphoric hands in the air chant along chorus, and there wasn't a more exuberant pop song this year. Digital Spy also considered the track as the best song of 2011, naming it Britney's best track since Toxic and commenting, judging from its chart position, it's also her most underrated hit. The Village Voices Paz and Jop annual critics poll ranked Till the World Ends as the seventh best song of 2011, tied with Lana Del Rey's Video Games. Till the World Ends was voted by readers as the best song of the 2010s on Billboard. Topic: <laughs> Remixes. A Bollywood version of the song was done by Indian music producer duo Salim and Suleiman Merchant, and released on Desahits.com, a website for South Asian music and entertainment news. The remix features a Punjabi breakdown with South Asian sounding vocals and includes some added Desi flavors courtesy of Dolki, Dal, and Tumbi beats, which are common instruments in South Asian music. Baba Khan of the production team Culture Shock stated, Our goal was to take Britney's smash hit single and give fans a total Desi adrenaline rush. The result is a Culture Shock musical Desi roller coaster that hopefully everyone around the world will want to join. Mark Flaherty, senior vice president of Jive Label Group, said about the remix, we wanted to build an even greater connection between the world's biggest pop star and one of the world's largest audiences. Britney has been engaged with South Asian culture for many years. From the groundbreaking Bollywood-inspired remix of Me Against the Music to her recent collaboration with Indian fashion designers Fulguni and Shane Peacock on the Hold It Against Me video, she has embraced the incredible sights and sounds of this vibrant community throughout her career. Michigan band Salem released a slowed down version of the song, and made a music video featuring seemingly underage strippers and military footage. A remix featuring R. Kelly was leaked online on July 4, 2011. It features him singing the second verse, Slide up in this club, this beat's got me in love, till I just don't care, it's like I'm walking on air, it's a party right here. And a new hook, where he repeats the line, Party till the world ends. His vocals join those of Spears during the breakdown, and the song ends with Kelly doing runs over the chorus. A reporter from Idolater said, We'd much rather listen to Britney's original than this uninspired remix when Doomsday comes. A remixed version of Till the World Ends, featuring Kesha and rapper Nicki Minaj, was leaked online on April 22, 2011. The same day, three countdowns with lines of the song appeared on the official websites of Spears, Kesha, and Minaj. The Femme Fatale remix was released on iTunes on April 25, 2011. The same day, Spears uploaded a picture of the cover art to her Twitter account. Kesha told MTV News, I'm a massive fan of both the ladies I share the track with. I wrote TTWE for Britney. And she killed it and I loved it, but I just thought a supergroup of three hot, strong women could just take over the airwaves." The remix adds heavier bass during the beginning, and starts with Minaj rapping with intensity about a female hater, in lines such as, "...told you they'd revive your career, but somebody lied, I ain't talkin' poultry when I say this chicken's fried." This continues by Spears singing the first verse, after which Minaj says, 
It's Britney, bitch. I'm Nicki Minaj and that's Kesha. And the first chorus is sung by the latter. Spears continues with the song and is accompanied by Kesha towards the end of the second verse and the bridge. The remix also features a dubstep breakdown, reminiscent of Hold It Against Me. Tina Hart of MSN UK stated that Minaj maintains her badass demeanor. Britney's familiar tones greet you on the verse and Kesha sounds perfectly at home on the chorus. Wesley Case of the Baltimore Sun stated that while Spears sounds processed, Minaj's larger than life performance matches the in the red party production. And Kesha adds an extra layer of dirt under the nails sheen. He summarized his review by saying that the remix is the perfect example of pop's current love affair with Euro dance and add it all to the pot rules. Jordan Zacharin of the Huffington Post commented the track has enough star power to dwarf our own sun and added that it puts enough of a spin on the original version to make it worth a spin on its own. Semesame.com.au stated that Minaj's rap was fantastic, and that although Kesha's verse was a little strange, it also works, but further emphasizes what a poor choice for single Till the World Ends was in the first place, as the song sounds even more like a B-side to Kesha's Cannibal EP. Maura Johnston of The Village Voice highlighted the breakdown and Minaj, who seems particularly energized here, stretching and bending her voice like it's a plastic man doll. Kyle Anderson of Entertainment Weekly said that, like most remixes, we'll stick with the original. Quote dot. Anderson also stated that Kesha's contribution is generally ignorable and that Minaj's rap does not flow well with the rest of the song. Pitchfork Media included the Femme Fatale remix in their Top 100 Tracks of 2011 list, writing, Till the World Ends was already the best Britney single since Toxic, an ecstatic Euroclub floor filler about wanting to dance until the world ends and other important matters. Then they added the Nicki Minaj verse. In her 45-second evisceration, Nicki manages to squeeze in chicken noises and the words poultry, Epsom salt, and Ricky Lake, not to mention the immortal dis sniff, sniff, crease, I done slayed your entire fucking liiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
The song also jumped to number 47 on the Radio Songs chart with 26 million impressions, up 56%, and debuted at number 26 on the Pop Songs chart. It later peaked at number 4. The following week, Till the World Ends dropped out of the top 10 of the Hot 100. It returned three weeks later at number 8, on April 13, 2011. Following the release of the remix featuring Nicki Minaj and Kesha, the song peaked at number 3 on the Hot Digital Songs chart, with combined sales of 246,000 downloads, up 102%. The remix accounted for 167,000 copies, 68% of the total sales. Till the World Ends also peaked at number 3 on the Hot 100, becoming Spears's 11th top 10 hit and her third of 2011 after Hold It Against Me and the S&M remix with Rihanna. In May 2011, the song peaked at number 4 on the Airplay chart, her highest charting song on the radio in her entire career. Till the World Ends became Spears's seventh number one dance song when it topped the chart in May 2011. On the week of July 10, 2011, the song surpassed 2 million downloads in the United States. As of March 2015, Till the World Ends has sold over 3 million copies in the United States. The single debuted at number 16 on the Canadian Hot 100 and climbed to number 7 the next week. Following the release of the remix, Till the World Ends peaked at number 4. On March 14, 2011, the song debuted at number 19 on the ARIA charts of Australia. It climbed to number 8 on the week of April 25, 2011, where it stayed for two consecutive weeks. Till the World Ends stayed for 16 weeks on the chart. It has since been certified 2x Platinum by the Australian Recording Industry Association for sales of 140,000 units. In New Zealand, the song debuted at number 10 on March 14, 2011. It stayed for 17 weeks on the chart. On March 10, 2011, Till the World Ends debuted at number 7 on the Irish Singles Chart. In the United Kingdom, Till the World Ends debuted at number 55 on March 7, 2011, and moved to number 21 the following week. It became her second lowest peaking single behind Radar 2009 and her lowest peaking second single from a studio release. Across Europe, the song has peaked at number 2 in Norway, number 4 in Sweden, number 6 in Belgium, Wallonia and Finland, number 7 in Denmark and Switzerland, number 8 in France and Slovakia and the top 20 in Brazil, Belgium, Flanders, Czech Republic, Greece and Spain. Topic: <laughs> Music video Topic Development The music video for Till the World Ends was directed by Ray Kay and filmed inside a basement in Los Angeles, California. On March 17, 2011, Spears posted on her Twitter account, Day one of the hashtag TTWE video shoot. Just wrapped my first big dance number. Taking a well deserved break, people. She also tweeted a picture of her on set, wearing ripped tights, a Burberry Prawsome studded leather jacket, and matching fingerless leather gloves. The making of was chronicled on the special Britney Spears, I Am the Femme Fatale, which aired on MTV on April 3, 2011, at 2100 Eastern Standard Time, 2 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time. In the special, Spears is seen watching the playback, as she later explained.
It is just to make sure it's right and that the costume looks right and the dancers are together and we all look in unison. It's an energy and it looks fresh. It has a certain vibe with it and it makes sense." She also went on to describe the set as, "...grimy and gross." It was sweat and it was disgusting sometimes. At a point in the shoot, Spears changed her heels to Ugg boots during the shots that did not show her feet, stating that, "...dancing in heels hurts but it looks good. It wasn't a full-length shot, so a girl's about comfort when it's not showing." Spears said that she did not feel the need to top herself, saying that, I've made so many videos that I'm at the point that I genuinely want to enjoy myself, and I have such a good team of people with me. I had never worked with Ray K before. I was really happy with the work we did." The video was choreographed by Brian Friedman. On April 4, 2011, it was announced that two different versions of the music video would be released, a director's cut and a choreography cut. The same day, Spears tweeted a 30-second preview of the video, announcing, Hashtag Till the World Ends video premieres this Wednesday on Vivo. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Topic Synopsis The video begins with the words, December 21, 2012. Flashing on screen, the day that refers to the fulfillment of the Great Cycle, Bacton in the Mayan calendar. While Spears appears strutting in an underground party wearing a studded leather jacket and stockings. Several people are seen running to a manhole and enter the sewer system to arrive to the party. This is followed by a dance routine in which Spears is wearing a sequined bodysuit and a small jacket with shoulder pads accompanied by female dancers. During the video, there are scenes of buildings burning and debris falling, as well as intercut scenes of spears in front of an illuminated background. As the second verse begins, she dances provocatively with her male dancers. In the last chorus, the sun rises while water is sprayed through the dance floor and the earthquake and meteor shower subside. The video ends with Spears coming out of a manhole wearing the red body suit and smiling. The director's cut premiered on April 6, 2011 at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time 8 o'clock Coordinated Universal Time. Kevin O'Donnell of Spin compared the Till the World Ends video to I'm Slave for You and added that it takes elements of classic Spears videos, such as scantily clad dancers, tightly executed choreography, redonkulously sequined outfits, and pouty, overly sincere close-ups of Spears, and places them in an apocalyptic, end-of-days scenario. Jocelyn Wiener of MTV also highlighted the comparisons to I'm a slave for you, explaining that the director's cut of the video is a sexy mashup of Spears doing what she does best, groping half-naked guys, giving the camera bedroom eyes and being sassy in a number of leather jackets and skin-tight bodysuits. Chris Gay Amali of Time stated that the video is sweaty, at times blinding, yet undeniably enjoyable, adopting many of its key elements from Britney's coming of age I'm a slave for you. Matthew Perpetua of Rolling Stone called it a good, memorable video. Tanner Stransky of Entertainment Weekly said it is exactly what you'd expect for this song, and from Britney at this point in her career. 
and also complemented Spears for getting rid of the product placement in the Hold It Against Me video. Wesley Case of the Baltimore Sun stated that video is typical 2011 party starter. Sweaty bodies, futuristic DJ gear, well timed faulty sprinkler system but it captures the track's raging mood perfectly. Gina Serpa of E! Online also compared the video to I'm a slave for you, saying, there's nothing wrong with a little nod to vintage Britney. Plus, sweaty dances in underground tunnels pulsing and writhing in sync to the music? Seems like as good a way as any to survive the apocalypse. Willa Paskin of New York commented that Spears tries hard not to make the same mistakes as the inadvertently depressing Hold It Against Me, There's More Dancing, though it's still largely arm related, and much, much more smiling. The music video was nominated at the 2011 Much Music Video Awards in the category of International Video of the Year artist, but lost to Lady Gaga's Judas. Quote dot. It also received two nominations at the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards in the categories of Best Pop Video and Best Choreography. Spears told MTV News she was completely flattered by the nominations. She lost best choreography to Beyoncé's Run the World Girls, but won best pop video. Topic: Choreography cut. The video is similar to the director's cut, but has a few differences. The choreography cut offers lengthier shots of Spears and her dancers, and much of the apocalypse storyline is edited out. The clip's ending is also different from the original, instead of emerging from the manhole Spears just looks into the camera, apparently still hiding in the underground party and hinting at a darker ending in which the world does end. On April 9, 2011, Spears tweeted that she had seen the final cut of the dance version, and was not sure which one she liked best. Ray Kay tweeted on April 14, 2011, that the original version of the video was better. That it's fun to watch the choreography too. The video, titled, Dance Till the World Ends premiered on April 15, 2011. Leah Collins of Dose commented, Sorry, Team Britney, but if any of you were hoping to pass off Spears' anemic performance in the original as the result of unfortunate editing, this clip isn't exactly going to bring anyone back on side. <laughs> Topic. Twister Remix. An accompanying music video for the Twister remix of Till the World Ends was also directed by Ray Kay, and released on September 8, 2012. For the music video, Spears sported a $20,000 sports bra and black leggings from Body Rock. It begins with four girls talking and resting in a dance studio. Once Spears enters the room and starts playing Twister with the girls, the scenario changes to a stage with a colorful background, and they all start performing a dance routine to a remix of the song. After the song stops and the four girls are seen laying down tired, Spears turns around to them and say, Way to rock the spots, ladies. Topic. Live performances and cover versions Spears first performed, Till the World Ends, at Rain Nightclub in the Palms Casino Resort on March 25, 2011. After performances of, Hold It Against Me, and, Big Fat Bass, 
Spears appeared wearing a black latex bodysuit covered in red lights and surrounded by her dancers, while the stage was filled with ladders and LED lighting. At the end, she ascended the ladders and ended up on a platform, gyrating from above the room. As fireworks lit the stage, Spears danced and tossed her hair as the song closed. She also taped performances of Hold It Against Me, Big Fat Bass, and Till the World Ends at the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium on March 27, 2011, that aired on Good Morning America on March 29, 2011. The same day, Spears performed the set on Jimmy Kimmel Live. On May 22, 2011, she briefly performed the song at the Billboard Music Awards in the MGM Grand Garden Arena. After Minaj performed, Super Bass, she started to sing the rap verse of the Femme Fatale remix. Spears emerged on stage for the chorus and performed alongside Minaj and her backup dancers while walking to a minor stage. Spears also performed Till the World Ends at the Femme Fatale Tour 2011. At the end of Toxic, she goes below the stage and returns wearing a black sparkly bodysuit for Till the World Ends. Halfway through the performance, Minaj appears on the backdrops rapping her verse of the Femme Fatale remix of the song. She also joined Spears to perform the verse in select cities. After the song changes back to the original version, Spears starts flying in a platform with giant angel wings. The show ends with Spears and her dancers thanking the audience, as confetti falls and the Femme Fatale sign is lowered on stage. Jason L. Nelson of the Beaver County Times said that Encore hits toxic and Till the World Ends kept the crowd beaming. Spears also performed the song as part of the Encore section from her Las Vegas residency Britney, Peace of Me. At the end of the performance, Spears ascended into the back of the stage in a globe cage. Mirroring the set list of her Las Vegas residency, Till the World Ends, is also the encore of Britney, live in concert, with Spears leaving the stage after performing, You Drive Me Crazy, for a few minutes, and then returning to perform the song as the encore. During the Pink Friday tour, Nicki Minaj included Till the World Ends as an interlude. Electronic or band I See Stars covered the song as a track for the Punk Goes Pop Volume 4 compilation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Track listings. Topic. Credits and personnel Credits adapted from Till the World Ends liner notes Topic. Charts Topic. Certifications Topic Release History Topic See also List of number one dance singles of twenty eleven U S